that's a good way to make uh, two or three bucks a day. Pedaling a trike around. You go to the public market? Yeah. How much? Ten what? Ten pesos. How fast? I want to go fast. How much horsepower? Okay, let's go. On full speed and going to the public market here. Okay, cannot go, sir. Go around there. Suck up. Yeah, around to the public market. I cannot go that. Uh huh? As far as we can go, okay. I cannot go so, there because one way. Okay, so how much is it? How much? Okay, I owe you. Uh, what is it? How many pesos owe you? <laughs> well, you didn't go fast enough. I only give you. Okay, I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you. I'll tell you what. I've taken a lot of your time. I'll give you 100 pesos, okay? 100 okay, pesos? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll go on down here where my shell ladies are. There they are, the shell ladies. The corner where you buy the seashells. Yeah. Look at that baluk there. Wow. That. Look at all these shells. You got these from a fisherman or a middleman? Did they get, this? Did they get those from a fisherman? Yes, this one is, is uh, caught there once. Does she go out and catch them or who catches them? This one is catch her. You, you, you go out and catch them? This Cut it over. Rotate it over. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a really nice balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Cone shell there. Nice baluk right here. Yeah, crack lip. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, what, uh, what do you do with the big shell? Two kilos. Two kilos. How much? She's going to take care of the shell for me. Okay, there we are, the shell. That's the animal. The animal there. And at the shell. Yeah. <laughs> you cleaned it. This is the shell that uh, I showed you that I bought in the Philippines. I bought the shell because it was in such good condition. The spines were in really great condition. It had a fantastic heavy lip on it. And the ladies did a fantastic job removing the animal from it, in which they used for food. Sadly, uh, a lot of shells are collected in the Philippines for food. Now, uh, this shell is called a baler shell in the Philippines, where you bail a boat out with it. Uh, it's also part of the Baluk family. Now what's important about this shell is how I got it back to the U.S. and to my home here. That's what I'm going to do now is tell you how I did it. Okay, how to get your uh, seashell out of the Philippines. Well, uh, if you look at this, you'll see right up there, maybe it shows it to Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, the uh, export um, um, commodities, wherever it is. You got to go to this place in the Philippines and uh, take your shells there and uh, find it. Take you two hours if you're lucky, maybe three or four hours uh, with traffic and everything to get your permit. And then once you get your permit, you need this permit to show them when you're uh, leaving the airport in case they x ray your luggage and see a seashell in it. So then, uh, when you get back to the States and you go through customs like I did, uh, you go ahead and I told the guy, hey, I got some seashells. You know, I got to call wildlife. So, and then I said, I got a permit. So I got the permit out. He looked at it. He called wildlife. He said, so he's got a permit. That's good. So he takes a look at it. He says, hey, uh, you know, I've done a lot of inspections here in customs. We run across a lot of people coming in here from the Philippines with seashells. That's the first time I've ever seen a permit like that. 
and all. So uh, now uh, the reason this bird is here is he decided to attack my uh, my permit when it was on the desk and all. So that's who did that. Okay. Now if you uh, found this um, video interesting and uh, helpful, uh, please subscribe.